Hi everybody, welcome to the Monday morning edition of the Boxes Near Me Business Minute. I'm your host, Dave Levine. Get it down to business. Oh yeah, it, well, I should have done that. And be sure to visit BoxesNearMe.com for the best deals on boxes, pallets, and packing supplies. And then, you know, take that too. That's my next step. That's me getting warmed up right now. You know, um, Ronda Rousey. She got whooped on this weekend by Holly Holm. And the reason is because Holly Holm figured out her game. She stayed away from Rhonda's incredible judo and incredible submissions and just kicked her and punched her and kicked her and punched her until she eventually knocked Ronda Rousey out. I think it was pretty impressive, but I honestly think that Ronda Rousey was under so much pressure that even if she was in top form, she had too much going on in her mind. People were asking the president what he thought of certain issues, and then they were asking Ronda Rousey what she thought of the same issues. They were asking her things that she had no business answering, perhaps. Just, they put her on a pedestal that was so high up. It just had to be distortion from that point, and that's probably one of the main reasons she lost, because she just had too much going on. I think she's a great fighter, but I think at this point, she should be smart about it and maybe make some more movies. In other news, uh, there was a real tragedy in Paris. Uh, you know, a bunch of uh, extremists decided to kill a lot of people at a concert, I believe it was. And uh, it's just really sad because it's very hard to pinpoint the problem. You know, most Muslim people are great. They're fine. They're just like normal people, just like you and me. Most people are fine. They're just like you and me. Certain people, you give them the, you know, the same information and they have this radical interpretation of it. That's the problem. People are, there are some people in the world that are just not looking at, you know, information in the same way. And so I think it's really sad. I think there's going to be a lot more blood that's going to get shed over this. I really hope that uh, there can be a somewhat peaceful solution to this, but I seriously doubt it. Um, in other news, the stock market is probably going to be very volatile up until the next Fed meeting, which I believe is on December 5th. The reason why that is, is because Historically, at least lately, the Fed has been bullied into keeping interest rates low uh, by the stock market. What happened the last time is the stock market had a downdraft that was severe enough to scare the Fed into not raising rates. And as you've seen, uh, it seems to be happening again. The market's been selling off. I believe the next uh, Fed meeting is on December 5th. They were talking about raising rates. My opinion is that they're just going to wait till January because they don't want to ruin Christmas, which is going to perpetuate this artificially stimulated economy. And my guess is that by, you know, if you can wait till about uh. December 5th and you can turn around and, you know, you can buy that dip and then you can ride it up until, you know, through the holiday season after until about January 10th or 12th, you'll probably make money. So don't do anything right now. Hold on to your hat. Keep your cash on the sidelines. Just wait till right before the Fed meeting. Start layering money in, hopefully. This is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, full disclosure. Not licensed, I'm not giving advice, but it's probably gonna bottom out right around that uh, Fed meeting. And then it's gonna start to rally after that as people, especially if they decide not to raise rates, which is what the stock market wants. This is just my opinion. Hope everybody's having a wonderful Monday. I Dave Levine, and call me at 480 for the best deals on boxes and pallets and packing supplies. Have a great day.